A new partnership between a university and a Detroit church is giving Detroiters a new option for receiving a higher education in the city. Cleary University has joined with historic Little Rock Baptist Church to open a campus in the church's Considine Recreation Center on Woodward Avenue. The university's curriculum focuses on business and entrepreneurship and classes begin in January. Here to tell us more is Reverend Jim Holly of Little Rock Baptist Church and Cleary University Vice President Dr. Marlo Rencher. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you for having Thank us. You so much. Reverend Holly, you, uh, you're a pastor at that church, but it seems like every time I'm talking to you, you're doing <laughs> something with education. <laughs> That's sort of your second uh, job there. It, it really is, because I know that basically um, to get people out of poverty, it's going to be, you have to educate your way out. Mm -hmm. You can't all wrap your way out and, and football your way out and basketball your way out all your way out you got to educate many of us got to educate our way out yeah, yeah. And this is what I think and certainly uh, this is a tremendous opportunity Stephen because of the fact that I feel like what's really missing also in Detroit is a business school yeah and of course um, Detroit is moving fast I just what I'm concerned about is Detroiters moving with Detroit right. participating in, right. the, in that movement and and uh, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the extent to which just in that neighborhood around the church you right. really uh, made a difference in the in the way that uh, that people are able to participate right. in what's happening in the city and uh, sort of live in a place that right. is going forward it's the neighborhoods you know the downtown is doing well midtown is doing well I hope to, that uh, that the neighborhood, this neighborhood, North End, will be sort of like a, a example of what can happen in other neighborhoods. Yeah. And so this is what I'm working on real hard. And, and of course, Cary University is an integral part of what we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Rencher, tell me about Cleary University. I'm not sure most people know what sure. it is. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Um, I think a, an important thing to note is that it is very much a business-focused university. It was founded in 1883. Wow. So it's a. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's, it's <laughs> been around for quite a while, yeah. and we've heard a lot about universities that are kind of just showing up and and all that. So we've had this track record over a hundred years of providing really quality business education. Yeah. So we have campuses in Livingston County, in Washtenaw County, and now we have a campus in Detroit, and we're really really excited about that. And we offer, um, like obviously, business education focused on traditional students, so students can come in straight out of high school, have a college experience. But we also are really, really great at connecting with working adults, people who are trying to make it from their level to from the one next point level. To the next, yeah. Exactly. And that's so important in Detroit, of course. Precisely. Uh, talk about the kinds of degrees that, uh, sure. that you're offering people. Yeah, so we're. Um, as a business-focused university, um, all of our graduate students are all MBA students. They can get it in analytics, technology, and innovation. They can get it around healthcare leadership and just business leadership, generally speaking. Uh, at the undergraduate level, we have a wide variety of degrees, including accounting, finance, um, marketing, entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship is really a focus of ours. Yeah. Um, so everything we even offer professional certificates around things like supply chain management um, program management and that type of thing and really we're, we're just offering a great education a smaller focus education so we're not talking about big lecture halls we're talking about an 11 to 1 student faculty ratio so I think that's the difference yeah. uh, we're not competitive as much as offering an alternative in the way that we deliver education right uh, Reverend Holly I remember going to hear you speak back in the 1990s uh, and you were talking about how important it was in the african-american community and in detroit uh, to push entrepreneurship that, right. that people have got to be able to to sort of make it on their own uh, or at least know how to and, and not only that but one of the things i like about the, the the university Stephen, is that not only do they provide information and, and education but also give you a, a hands up they, they find the resources so that you can basically get your business off the ground. Right. Um, uh, that's one of the things I really love about it because much of, of what we do, we, we have the knowledge, but we don't have access to capital. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and that's the thing that I really like about this uh, relationship and this joint venture. Yeah. Well, so how do you how do you bridge that capital? Well, uh, I think yeah. the, the first good step is that we offer a Detroit Opportunity Scholarship. So people who um, have a Detroit zip code. We're offering scholarships to make sure that they are, are going to the educational process 
lowering the amount of unsubsidized debt. Yeah. We're really clear about what, what um, a problem it is for this generation and for all generations to deal with that debt load. So, you know, recognizing that that is a real clear impediment to entrepreneurship and just life going forward. We're sure. really interested in that. Yeah. Additionally, um, you know, we come from, and I come from a background of working in accelerators, being an entrepreneur, my, entrepreneur myself, so we're not talking about a theoretical process. Okay. We have access to the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Detroit, so we can connect you with, you know, a tech stars. We can connect you with a tech town and other kinds of, of uh, connections from SCORE to SBA. Mm -hmm. um, and I think what I found just over my career in dealing with entrepreneurship is that a lot of entrepreneurs are sitting by themselves in their garage talking to their friends and they're not connecting to the greater um, exactly ecosystem. Right. So yeah. when they do that, they're able to save money, connect to, uh, to, to capital, and that's really what we're focused on, just practical education, particularly for entrepreneurs who are trying to get to that next level. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned that you had uh, been an entrepreneur. Tell yeah. me about that. So. Um, I've worked, actually I've started three technology oriented companies. Um, additionally, I was uh, one, the first managing director at TechTown. Mm -hmm. um, I was part of the Bizdom Accelerator okay. yeah. um, and have worked a lot in kind of the entrepreneurial space in Detroit. And yeah. so this opportunity for me um, to take um, the practical experience I've had in starting businesses and and running businesses and actually apply it. I got a PhD um, in dealing with uh, entrepreneurial community. So putting the th theoretical together with the practical with and the actually practical. sitting down and talking to entrepreneurs, having that experience in it, really helped me to, to guide that the way that we deliver entrepreneurship. Sure, and so sure. my role includes being the faculty director um, or the, the entrepreneurship chair. So I help create and craft the classes and make sure that they're really, really practical. It's really about how can we take your particular idea? We want you in our classes to work on your idea, not something kind of theoretical. And, and how do we make it happen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Reverend Holly, talk to me about what is what is going on right uh, in your little part of uh, Detroit, uh, the North End. Uh, is it, I, I, and we were talking before the show. I feel like that's a neighborhood that is about to to turn really dramatically in a in a more positive. Uh, direction. I hear people telling me that they're buying houses there. I hear about businesses that are thinking about opening up in that area. Right. I, I thank you for the question. The, the thing, of course, is that we are uh, we are working on a, a project called Gateway to North End, mm -hmm. and so where we're taking down some uh, taking down houses and putting up new housing. The other thing that I'm happy about is Wayne County Community College District is also in the in same the, building, yeah. and so f we're working on on those kind of programs as well trying to get their reading and the math skills up. But in terms of this, the community, uh, we're talking, we're right now engaging a uh, talk with uh, Presbyterian Village about a resident, uh, a senior, senior uh -huh. citizen resident. We're talking to them. We have a restaurant coming into the, to the community in about 60 days yeah. uh, that we think is going to be very fruitful. Uh, fruitful. Um, and also, uh, Stephen, what we're trying to do, we've got a medical clinic that we're trying to talk to Easton about putting a better, uh, better, better, a vet uh, about, uh, yeah, school right. there. Yeah. I'm sorry about my That's speech. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But I'm just saying to you, those kind of things that are working so hard because we're right next to Midtown. Right. And you know <laughs> what's going to happen next. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so you want to be That you spillover be ready. is important. Absolutely. And, and, and it's also important that, that a lot of the things I know that you're doing it, are about the people who already live there. It's right. not just about you know, people who now want to live there right. and may buy a house, that's great, but it's about the people who, who stuck it out. It's the quality of life of the people that's already there and, and trying to repopulate the community mm -hmm. with the people. Uh, and, and this is uh, it's, it's a challenge, but it's a wonderful challenge because we do feel uh, there is, um, uh, there's hope mm -hmm. and we see something happening, as you've indicated earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why, why Detroit and why now for Cleary University? As you said, it's, it's been around for a really long time. Yes. Uh, what, what sort of motivates this, this decision and the geography uh, that's associated with it? Um, I, I think particularly um, we're interested in expanding as a university um, and we see a lot of what's happening in Detroit, but we are interested not necessarily in being a follower in Midtown. We are really intentional about being in a neighborhood. Right. 
Yeah. Um, there's a lot of folks that are happening, a lot of things that are happening in Midtown. I'm really, really happy about all of it being a native Detroiter. Um, but to have the opportunity to be a catalyst, to see the things that uh, Reverend Holly is doing and be a part of that, mm -hmm. that's really, really important for us. Yeah. Additionally, um, we see that in order to make these things happen, in order to really help people, they need to have skills that help them to, to get those higher level jobs. Yeah. And we're really focused on making that particular piece happen. We think we're, we can be, um, we can really help catalyze the growth. We can yeah. give the skills and we can do it in a way that, um, that can help the people in the neighborhood as well as bring people who are in, in, in other places, working in other places, into a neighborhood, into yeah. a place and hopefully give them. That, that idea of sort of transition yes. in somebody's life or career mm -hmm. uh, is, is so much more important now than it was 20 years ago. Yes. I, I mean, the, people can't really expect, I think, anymore to work 40 or so years in one job or... Absolutely. Or, so you really got to sort of think about other things and this is... So and you, you got to think that. about new skills. We're, we're bringing business analytics. We have a, a partnership with the largest business analytics company in the world. We're mm -hmm. bringing them there and integrating it into the classes. Um, we're really interested in, in, in how can we help folks get into this new economy, not make it a scary process, and, and really help mm -hmm. them through the process. Right. And put down some roots there. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, congratulations on a, a fabulous idea Thank and you. an important part of town. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks for being here. All right, that's our program for today. Thanks for watching. You can get more information about our guests at AmericanBlackJournal.org, and you can always connect with us on Facebook and on Twitter. We'll see you next time. <laughs>